in the minority of minorities to say that Jesus was not Torah observant. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. We're in the minority in saying that. Mm -hmm. We're in the minority in saying that Jesus was a lawbreaker, but innocent. We're in that minority. And I love this passage, Ephesians 2, because my eye went to verse 17. Christ came and preached. So that's the conclusion of the passage before it, which is so powerful about the cross and how something was nailed to that cross. It wasn't specifically done only by the death of Jesus. It sounds to me like all those things took place because of what Jesus preached. Yeah. The words of Jesus, they have to have meaning back then as they do now. Jesus had to be under a different system because he's the system maker. He's the lawmaker in Genesis, all the way back in Genesis 49. There's a prophetic text there of a lawmaker. So Jesus is the lawmaker. Mm -hmm. Jesus cannot be less than Moses. Jesus cannot be under Moses, which is the inevitable outcome of saying that Jesus kept the law of Moses. Think about it. Then Moses is his Lord. Is it mind blowing? Is this heretical? Mm -hmm. Is this blasphemous? Is this saying Jesus was a lawbreaker in the negative sense? You can be a lawbreaker in a positive sense. Jesus says in Matthew 12, they break the Sabbath and are innocent. My apostles are lawbreakers and yet they are innocent. That's what Jesus says. Think about that. So you can be a lawbreaker, says Jesus, yet innocent. Why? Because I'm the man, I'm the Messiah. I'm bringing in something new. I'm the lawmaker and I'm the lawbreaker because I'm the lawmaker.